Hi, this is Peter with the Benchmade Knife Company. Today we're going to test and do some demo with the 916 SPK Triage. We'll start off doing a couple cut demonstrations. As you can see, the N680 blade steel doesn't really have any uh, issue going through the nylon webbing. A couple of strands of 550 paracord pose no issue as well. And a thick strap of vegetable tan leather poses no issue as well. Now for the safety cutter demonstration. The hook material is 440C. As you can see these hooks are absolutely razor sharp. So I've got Tracy helping me out here. I'm going to cut the laces out of this boot. It takes a little bit to get through the thick padded top of this boot, but once through it you can see that the uh, leather, the full grain all the way through, doesn't cause any issue. We'll go ahead and go down the other side of the boot and all the way around to the front. And we'll go ahead and cap it and take that whole top part off. So now I'm going to perform a simple wedge cut. I'm going to use the mallet to baton on the back of the blade. This is a quick and easy test to identify chipping, dulling, lock failure issues. You'll notice when I pry the blade out, I'm trying to put lateral force on the blade itself. I do this to try to get the lock to fail or the edge to break. So as you can see, no chipping, no uh, lock deformation, still functions great, still nice and sharp. So the tip on the 916 triage is actually blunt for a reason. It's an opposing bevel as well, so it's made for prying. Here I've got an old box we found laying around the shop. Now you wouldn't want to normally do this with a normal knife to break the tip right off. You can see it makes a really strong cross section. You can twist with it. That blunt tip allows you to get access underneath the crevice. Pry right out. No damage to the blade, no damage to the lock. Here's a close-up of how the tip and bevel are beneficial in prying. Let's test the glass breaker on the 916 triage. Now we will test the lock strength on the 916. So as you can see, the ram on the Chatillon pushes about 2 inches back from the pivot of the knife. The 916 features the axis lock with full stainless steel liners and G10 handle scales. And here we start to see some deformation of the assembly. What's happening is there's a small dent forming on either side of the axle bar in the stainless liner. The machine now senses a lack of resistance against the pusher and considers it a soft fail. So there you have it, the 916 triage. Durable, versatile, and innovative.